Well, you know, there's an interesting thing in this game when you miss a shot. Most players miss, and sometimes they get upset, and some people lose the game because they miss. Uh, some people go into pity party mode. They go into all kinds of different contortions when they miss. So I'm going to kind of explain a principle here about uh, what a miss actually is, and, and then uh, we're going to try to see if we can't help you out a little bit as far as soothing some of the pain of a miss. Again, this is a mental tip that's going to really help improve your game, even though at the initiative it's going to sound a little bit funny or humorous, but it's actually going to help your game tremendously. Uh, I've got uh, three balls on the table. The first time I'm going to shoot this uh, one ball, I'm going to actually shoot it without making it. So I'm going to shoot the shot, and the ball doesn't go in the pocket, so I have a choice there. I can pretty much get upset for missing it, or uh, it didn't actually go in the pocket, so I can go through all types of uh, modes that, uh, that I'm not very happy with. Uh, I'm then now I'm going to shoot a safety and let's see what happens. Safety. Okay, I shoot the safety and isn't it amazing that the safety is really nothing more than a miss with a qualifying label on it. I thought that was kind of interesting when I discovered that, that you can actually shoot a ball, leave it on the table. And by using the word safety prior to shooting it, you actually get away with the miss and you feel a lot better because of it. So uh, I started thinking about that a little bit and I realized that sometimes we shoot shots that we're supposed to make but we miss but we don't know how to handle it. So I'm going to show you now how to handle a shot that you're supposed to make. So I'm going to shoot this eight ball in the corner, and I'm purposely going to miss this shot, okay? So I'm going to shoot the shot. This is the shot you're supposed to make. I shoot the shot. It goes into the rail. I miss it, and now I look at a situation where I've got two options. One option would be if I were in a game for the world championship, I could have a little pity party for the rest of my life until I'm about 95 years old sitting on the back porch. But, uh, you know, there's no need to really to have a pity party on that uh, because then that disrupts your other parts of your game. You have other shots later, you got other matches, you have a tournament you got to finish, and you don't want to dwell on that shot. But for some reason, that logs into the brain and it just sits the simmers there for years and years and years, that shot you were supposed to make. So here's what I do. If I miss a shot like that, what I've learned to do is I would just simply come over to the side, sit down, and internally I will just simply say, safety. Now, when I say safety, it sounds funny, but actually the brain connects with a qualified miss because I said safety. It doesn't have to say it ahead of time. By saying it afterwards, the right brain knows what the word safety is. It's a ball that usually stays on the table. I know there's different types of safeties, but it's normally the one that stays on the table, hits a rail, and by saying safety, you're happy. So instead of having a pity party by missing a shot you're supposed to make, you might as well taste and at least have a fighting chance of remaining sane for the rest of your match by simply using the word safety at an appropriate time. Do it internally, and at least you'll have that option of feeling a little bit better about the shot you were supposed to make. Give it a try sometime. You might be surprised how this will keep you feeling better about your pool game. So I hope you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.